Are you interested in military technology? Then you're in luck. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the latest tank to come out of the United States, the Abrams X. But before we dive into the new features of this tank, let's take a back step and look at the history of the Abrams. The Abrams tank, named after General Creighton Abrams, has been a staple in the US military since its introduction in 1980. Over the years, it has undergone several upgrades, but they have all been cosmetic. The tank's caliber grew from 105 to 120 millimeters, but remained the exact vehicle. Meanwhile, the Russians had developed their T-80 tank four years earlier and the T-90 Vladimir tank in 1991, making the Abrams seem outdated. However, the US military has finally responded to this challenge with the Abrams X. While the tank's official presentation will take place at the AUSA 2022 exhibition in Washington, we have a 15-second clip from General Dynamics, the lead developer of the project, to give us a sneak peek. The brand new turret with a lower profile is one of the most noticeable changes. This significantly differs from modern Western tanks, typically taller than their Russian counterparts. However, being taller also means being easier to detect and more vulnerable to sub-caliber shells. The reduced height of the Abrams X turret addresses this issue, giving it a better chance of survival on the battlefield. But what does this mean for the comfort of the tank's crew? There are two possible explanations. The designers could have sacrificed comfort for survivability or decided to make the turret uninhabited, reducing the need for comfort features. Another interesting point is the height difference between the Russian Vladimir tank and the other Western tanks. The Russian tank is much shorter, standing at only 2,230 millimeters, while the German Leopard 2A7 is 3,180 millimeters tall. It's still being determined why there's such a significant height difference, but Western designers may prioritize comfort over survivability. In any case, the Abrams X represents a significant step forward for the US military and will surely be a formidable opponent on the battlefield. Keep an eye out for more updates on this exciting new tank. The new Abrams X will be a game changer in the world of tanks. With its advanced protection systems and state-of-the-art weaponry, this tank will dominate the battlefield like never before. First off, let's talk about protection. The tank crew will be under the turret, protecting them with its entire thickness. Plus, there's the possibility of an armored capsule for the crew, which can save them even in the case of an ammunition explosion. And trust us, in a tank, the outbreak of the ammunition is 100% death of the crew. But that's not all. The new Abrams X also gets a brand new cannon. Judging by the video, it looks like it will be an XM360 cannon which was previously tested for an armored vehicle under the now-closed FCS combat systems of the Future program. This cannon uses new high-strength gun steel, light alloys, titanium, aluminium, and carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Compared to the current Abrams cannon, the XM360 is 800 pounds lighter, weighing only 1,700 pounds. This new cannon can engage targets at a distance of up to 10,000 meters and unmanned aerial vehicles are used for reconnaissance and target designation, giving the Abrams X an even bigger advantage on the battlefield. Plus, it'll have an automated loading system, which means just three people can crew it. Some people might argue that the rate of fire is higher with a trained loader, but during long-range firing, the advantage of the automatic loader is undoubted. And remember that the Russian tanks have been using automatic loaders since the 70s. But the Abrams X isn't just about the big guns. It'll also be armed with a 30mm automatic gun and a 7.62mm machine gun. And just like the German and French advanced tanks, it'll be controlled remotely. So are you ready to see the M1 Abrams dominate the battlefield like never before? The new Abrams X will surely be a game changer with its advanced protection systems, state-of-the-art weaponry and automated loading system. And with its ability to engage targets at distances of up to 10,000 meters, it will be a force to be reckoned with. But wait, there's more. At the Euro Sanctuary 2022 exhibition, the Leopard 2A7 tank manufacturers were too embarrassed to report its exact weight in their promotional materials. Can you believe it? The United States has been providing military aid to Ukraine since the conflict started, including weapons, ammunition, and training. However, one of the most sophisticated and powerful weapons in the American arsenal, the M1 Abrams tank, has not been transferred to Ukraine. This has raised many questions and speculations about why, and one of the most likely is fuel. According to official data, the M1 Abrams consumes 10 gallons of fuel per hour when idle and 1 gallon per mile when moving at 40 miles per hour. This means it can burn through a full tank of 500 gallons in 8 hours of continuous operation. 
Moreover, the tank's range is limited by its fuel capacity, about 450 miles on the road and 265 miles off-road. This means that the tank needs to refuel frequently, which poses a logistical challenge in combat. To tackle this issue, American designers are putting a lot of effort into reducing the combat weight of tanks. The undercarriage and powertrain compartment of the Abrams X tank is being redesigned, and we'll know more about these changes in the future. However, there are other challenges that tank building faces. Tanks require powerful engines to push their massive weight and consume a lot of fuel, making them expensive to produce and maintain. The weight and fuel requirements of tanks pose significant challenges for tank building in the West. The Abrams X tank is a remarkable machine, but its weight and fuel consumption are becoming prohibitive. American designers are working hard to reduce the combat weight of tanks, but they face other challenges. The rise of new technologies and modern weapons is changing how wars are fought, and tanks may not be the answer in every situation. Despite these challenges, the tank building industry in the West continues to evolve, and we can expect to see more changes in the future. Let's talk about the Russian T-90, which weighs only 46.5 tons. It's no wonder that the Abrams are floundering on the roads in Russia, which are far from uncommon. Even the bridges in Western Europe may not be able to bear the weight of such heavy tanks. Tanks are big, heavy, and require a lot of fuel. Western tank building is at a standstill right now. But why? Tanks need powerful engines to push those tons of metal, and they consume a lot of fuel. And for sure, the crisis has hit American tank manufacturing hard. The Detroit Armory of the Chrysler Corporation, the largest tank building company in the Western Hemisphere, was closed for mothballing due to a lack of orders at the required volume in 1996. Now tanks are produced at the Lima Tank Plant in Lima, Ohio, owned by the General Dynamics Corporation. As the tank building industry in the West faces unprecedented challenges, the future of tanks like the Abrams X remains uncertain. Will American designers succeed in reducing the combat weight and fuel consumption of tanks? Will tanks continue to be the go-to weapon on the battlefield, or will new technologies replace them? Only time will tell. In the meantime, we can't help but wish Abrams X good luck. Its advanced technology and firepower have made it a formidable tank, but it faces many hurdles in its journey to becoming the ultimate war machine. America needs it, and the world is watching. What do you think about all this? Do you believe tanks still have a place on the modern battlefield, or are they becoming obsolete? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you don't want to miss out on any of the latest military technology news, subscribe to our channel now. We'll keep you updated on all the latest developments in the world of tanks, drones, UGVs, and more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.